लेक्चर गिव्स द इम्पोर्टेंट की पॉइंट एंड द रिलेवेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट बोथ कैन बी फाइंड यूजफुल एंड हाउ एवर ड्यूरिंग द वर्ल्ड वॉर इन द बिगनिंग द स्पीकर एक्सप्लेन अबाउट आई वुड लाइक टू सजेस्ट द बायोग्राफी इज इम्पोर्टेंट हेयर एंड वट इज द इम्पोर्टेंट टेंडेंसी फ्लुएंस इज परफेक्ट सो लुक्स लाइक द पर्सन गेट्स नाइनटी This is what a newbie would think. This is what a person who is not completely into PT would think. Hey, this person is doing good. This person gets a very low score. See, what if I start speaking like this? My name is Nakul, and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, do you really subscribe to my channel? No, because that's not the way it works. When you speak to your friend, this person, when he speaks to his friend, he speaks naturally. When it comes to read aloud, when it comes to PT speaking, I don't know what happens. Not just him; he has a face of it. So many people would just do like him. They try to change. Welcome to the ultimate guide to PT speaking. Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about how to get that PT speaking 90 in just three days. Before we get into the video, if not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. And any time you need online assistance, it's a paid assistance. We've shared a WhatsApp link in the description of this video. You can click on the link, send us a message. I'll be there. We will be there to help you guide in the right direction. All right. Without further delay, let's try to get right into the video. On day one, we're gonna spend approximately three hours. We're gonna work on fluency. We're gonna work on memorizing the templates, and we also will understand the entire end-to-end -end strategies. So now let's understand how to work on the fluency. It's a five-step process. Step one being take any random paragraph from the internet and read, read, read. Second thing is not to have any fumbles when you read. The third thing is to maintain the continuity. What is this continuity? We're going to talk about in just a while. The fourth thing is absolutely no hesitation, and the fifth one, no intonation. These five things you should keep in mind when you read. So let me just give you a simple reference on how to adjust to these five things and work on. the fluency so this is a sample paragraph that i can take from bbc.com you also can take from any resource just a lengthy paragraph and just try to do what i am doing right now in a summer of over tourism a viral oslo travel advert with nearly 20 million views is turning the tables on what travelers want it's hardly a traditional start to tourism advertisement i wouldn't come here to be honest says an unimpressed resident of oslo The narrator, a 31-year-old man named Havdan, then introduces viewers to Norway's capital and complains about its lack of pretension, its easily accessible art like Edvard Munch's *The Scream*, not exactly the *Mona Lisa*, he notes, and its accessibility. All the while, he strolls through a tranquil cityscape with no queues, crowds, or selfie snappers in sight. You can just walk from one side of town to another. Other in like 30 minutes, Havdan grouses. is it even a city so one thing if you notice over here i was just trying to maintain that rhythm tat 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 in a summer of over tourism a viral oslo travel tat 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 it's a constant speed second thing was there any fumbles not even one probably in the end i misread but i just continued was there any hesitation like in a uh, s -s -s was not there Was there any intonation in a summer of over tourism? A viral or slow? I was not doing it. This is fluency. You got to be very confident. You got to speak natural, and you got to go at a consistent rhythm, continuous speech, the speed with which you are comfortable with. You don't have to go fast. See, I can read fast. If I read fast, I'll fumble. In the summer of over, again started. over tourism the word did not come out because i'm trying to go fast you go slow fluency gone guess so get into that rhythm the rhythm with which you're very comfortable with that is fluency so how to improve on the fluency don't simply practice read aloud repeat sentence describe image your fluency will not improve take a lengthy paragraph start reading have a timer just start reading with within like 3 minutes you have to finish reading it at a stretch just keep reading whenever you want to breathe you breathe but at a stretch with a proper rhythm you have to go this is the first exercise in 3 hours of the day one that i told you at least 20 30 minutes you have to do it in the beginning it may not come this you know easily to you but over the period of time probably after doing it for 20 minutes 25 minutes trust me the words will just come out of your mouth remember this this is what fluency is you got to get this you got to bring this if you want that 90 in 3 days so after working on the fluency on day 1 day 1 will continue with memorizing the template you want all the templates you can check the information in the description of this video we have left a template link you can download it but memorizing a template has a unique technique to it lot of students 
complain saying they are not able to memorize they memorize and they immediately forget so how do we memorize is there a very easy way to do it remember the national anthem of your own country you never memorized at least i did not memorize but still it is in my mouth because every day in the school assembly from my first standard till the 10th standard every day morning nine o'clock was the assembly i just spoke it only once meaning you don't have to memorize it you just repeat it a bit consciously so what is this memorizing template means? Every day, speak the template three times. Morning once, afternoon once, evening once. Just three times. See the magic in three or four days. It will be in your mouth. You will never forget that. That's what I've been doing. See, I never memorized any of the templates. But all the templates are in my mouth. Because every day, at least once I use it. At least by making a video or while talking to a student. So let me just demonstrate with proper example as to how to memorize templates so if this is a written lecture template how do i memorize very simple i just read the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about in the beginning the speaker explained about later speaker mentioned about the importance of here the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that in conclusion speaker gives the important key points about morning done now afternoon i just finished my lunch i'll again get into the template and just read the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about in the beginning the speaker explained about later speaker mentioned about the importance of here the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that in conclusion the speaker gives the important key points about now before you sleep in the night let's say after dinner again the same thing the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about in the beginning the speaker it will automatically come may not be on the first day on the third day it will come this is called rote learning. You learnt it without you realizing how you did it. Zero effort, isn't it? You're not conscious of it. You're not worried about it. You're not bothered about it. I think I should remember the template. What if I forget? What if I forget? All those thoughts are not sneaking in. Just to speak three times, if possible four times, if possible five times. Hardly it will take 30, 20 seconds to speak into five. Hardly one and a half to two minutes of your day is what I'm asking. Three days you do, fourth day it will be in your mouth, you will never forget. Adopt the same principle for the rest of the templates and see the magic that just unfolds. So on the day when after you get that fluency and after you start memorizing the template. The third is to understand the strategies. Well, I've made a lot of videos. You can check any of my videos. In this video also, I'll give the strategies for all the modules. So let's start with the read aloud. You have to go with a rhythmic speed. Whatever the conditions that I told you for fluency, the same conditions will go here. First thing is to have a rhythmic speed, meaning with a constant speed. That, 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 that. Second thing, no fumble. There should not be any hesitation. There should not be any fumble. And the third thing is there should not be any intonation. After this, the strategy when it comes, content is not a priority. If there is a difficult word, it's okay, you can skip or you mispronounce it by mistake, misinterpret it. You added a new word, you deleted one word. Absolutely no problem as long as you maintain the flow. Right now I'm going at a flow. This flow is required, the same flow, the same fluency that I showed you at the very beginning of this video, that flow is required in read aloud. That is more important, content is not a priority. Well, this is for read aloud. We need to come to repeat sentence. There should not be any fumbles. Here as well, the fluency should be top notch because fluency matters the most compared to content. So content, even if you give 50, 60% is more than enough. Well, if you can give 100% content, well and good. If you're not able to, still it is fine. Focus more on the fluency. What is fluency? There should be a rhythm, no hesitation, no intonation. No fumbles. Rhythmic speed. Fluency is not just about going fast or slow. The rhythm, when you speak naturally, right now I'm speaking to you naturally, there is a rhythm. That rhythm is what is most important in your repeat sentence. Next is describe image. What matters is only the fluency. Keywords, templates, whatever you want, you use it. Whether you give or not, it is not going to make any difference. What makes difference in describe image is your fluency. Very shortly, I'm going to play some describe image audio, written lecture audio, read a lot audio and show you what all mistakes those audios have. It looks to a blind eye, but everything seems perfect. But so many mistakes. Very soon, I'm going to show you. But describe image for now, what you need to understand is it's the rhythmic speed, no hesitations, no fumbles, no intonations. Go at a rhythmic speed, continuous speech with a proper flow, naturality. You're going to get the marks in describe image. Coming to retail lecture, remember in retail lecture, people will use a template and they have written something, right? These two, they're going to march and they're going to try to fix the grammar in it. Don't do it. That is the first mistake. You try to fix the grammar, which doesn't matter at all in the entire speaking. You try to fix the grammar, you fumble, marks gone, don't do it. The first strategy for retail lecture is not to worry about the grammar. Second is, don't put your logic. 
in the read aloud you will just read whatever is there isn't it in written lecture as well there's a template there are some phrases that you have written just read don't have to make sense oh it is not making any sense i don't want to worry don't try to add a word intentionally to make more sense to it some people can do it without fumbles but most of the people when they try to arrange something out something newly they gonna fumble don't do all these things all these don't give you marks so what's more important is the rhythm the same thing whatever i told for the fluency for read aloud repeat sentence describe image here as well the rhythm is important the monotonic speech meaning no intonations no fumbles no hesitations and avoid your writing keywords write three or four four to five phrases is ideal one phrase is a short sentence of four to five words this is written lecture try doing it but most importantly it is not the content here three to four or four to five phrases you write but it's all about how you speak the way you read in the read aloud the same way you're supposed to read in your written lecture describe image repeat sentence everywhere so now we'll come to day two. Day two as well, we're gonna spend two to three hours because it's just three days is what I'm asking you to give for PT speaking, correct? So day two also, I would need some two, three hours um, from your side and day two, what we're gonna do, we're gonna practice and we're gonna evaluate. Remember, it's not just about practice, it's about evaluation. So when it comes to evaluation, what people would do immediately, go to some third party applications and try checking. Remember, nobody has peers on software. What a teacher would tell from his experience is, more valid than the third party websites that give you scores please remember it i've seen many comments on an everyday basis my team will show me see these people are commenting that they used your template in pipipip.com xyz.com they're getting very less but the students who are a part of the course have used this and got 19 the exam the reality is sitting very far away from you so i'll show you a very simple way to evaluate yourself and not to rely on third party application which probably may not even come closer to what Pearson gives. So one simple rule is this. For every fumble, reduce two marks. This is called strict analysis. That's exactly how it goes in the exam. So let me just demonstrate with a simple read aloud paragraph. All the while he strolls through a tra tranquil cityscape with no queues, crowds or selfie snappers in, in, in sight. You can just walk from one side of the town to the other in like 30 minutes. Half Half, half, half done grouses, is it even a city? Now three fumbles you did. Per read aloud, you're gonna get five marks or six marks. One fumble, I'm asking you to reduce two marks. So three fumbles you did, how much marks you should get ideally? Zero. Most probably this person gets one mark or two marks towards your read aloud from speaking and one or two marks to reading. Not more than this, this is not the way to do, but this is the way to evaluate. A lot of people think that they spoke something like this and they think that they should get 90. No, in each read aloud, most probably you will get 45 to 50 and not more than that. This is the bitter truth, man. We have to accept it. So now let me just play a few of the audios and show you what marks those audios get. Because this is how you will evaluate when you practice on day two, which is very, very important. Isn't it so? So let's look at this audio. The first audio so I'm going to play now. The very first audio. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about both can be find useful and however during the world war. In the beginning the speaker explained about I would like to suggest the biography is important here and what is the important tendency. Fluency is perfect. So looks like the person gets 90. This is what a newbie would think. This is what a person who is not completely into PT would think. Hey, this person is doing good. This person gets a very low score. See. It's not just about speaking uh, with a proper flow. It's also about speaking naturally. Right now, I'm talking to you naturally. What if I start speaking like this audio? I'll just give you a small demo because this is very important. Listen to it. Lecture gives the important key points. What if I start speaking like this? My name is Nakul and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, do you really subscribe to my channel? No, because that's not the way it works. When you speak to your friend, this person, when he speaks to his friend, he speaks naturally. When it comes to read aloud, when it comes to PT speaking, I don't know what happens. Not just him, he has a face of it. So many people would just do like him. They try to change the way they speak. This, this way you don't get the mark. So this is what you need to evaluate. If you're not able to do it, leave it to us join our course because we're gonna spend time to it so it has to be a paid assistance it cannot be free so many students join so you can join will if you need it not everyone would need it but some of you would need it you can join our course check the link in the description of this video we will do the needful but if you think you can manage it you understood from this videos so well and good if not do reach us out we will fix it so that's the wrong way of doing it let's play the second audio 
द ब्रेन्स ऑफ मॉडर्न ह्यूमन्स आर ऑर्गेनाइज्ड डिफरेंटली एंड टेक लॉन्गर टू ग्रो एंड मैच्योर फॉर एग्जांपल कंपेयर्ड विद चिंपांजीज मॉडर्न ह्यूमन इन्फेंट्स लर्न लॉन्गर एट द एक्सपेंस ऑफ बीइंग एंटायरली डिपेंडेंट ऑन पेरेंटल केयर फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड्स ऑफ टाइम ट <laughs> what to evaluate how to evaluate evaluate for fluency evaluate for no hesitation evaluate for no fumbles evaluate for no intonation and evaluate for naturality don't forget let's go to third audio the given image is what if i start speaking like this correct there must have been a popular debate will you speak like this with your friends do i speak like this with you all i don't speak like this this person is speaking like this meaning see that's that's what it is implementation is different theory is different tacticality is sitting very far from you people some people not everybody some people watch the video and think i have done the same thing as told in the video scores are 40 they come and comment here i followed everything your technique is completely nonsense will not work they don't even think at least a moment that they could be wrong in implementing it this way you don't get the marks very slow and not naturally fourth one the brains of a humans are organized differently to take longer to grow and mature for example complete for example what if he starts speaking this is intonation no marks for this well all these people were in our course after the class they send the audios well we going to fix it this is the first day so they have made mistakes but the point what i am telling you is it's not just about watching the video it's about being conscious you got to be conscious see idea is simple logically how you speak in a natural environment if your practice speech matches that you're going to get the marks this way you speak you don't get the marks the last one is intonation the previous to last one very slow second one is perfect first one no naturality so when you practice on the day two consider these things fill in these thoughts and accordingly evaluate you got to practice in a way in the next 3 hours 2 to 3 hours you got to get that flow you got to get that naturality this if it happens third day you going to get that 90 out of 90 in your pt speaking remember this on your day 3 meaning after day 1 understanding about the fluency memorizing the template end to end strategies and after day 2 where you have practiced a lot and evaluated yourself day 3 now day 3 is where you take an official mock test for everybody it is not required but if you think that you know that naturality you have a gap you're not pretty sure about it then take an official mock from pearson website the link in the description for that you can click on that and buy the voucher code you may not receive immediately but at least within 48 hours or within 5 6 days these days people are receiving once you receive the code you take an official mock you need to have a good mic with you the better mics are logitech h390 it's a bit on a costly side logitech h340 jabra platronics i don't suggest hp mics in amazon hp is mics are very you know like um, with a very low budget mics so for some it is giving 90 for some it is giving zero you decide and when you take this mics you cannot use any connectors let's say you're using a mac and doesn't have a usb port and you bought a usb mic you used a connector to convert to c type it is not going to work i have tried it i got zero so for those laptops where it's only jack pin kind of port you need to find in these companies the jack pin kind of mic so there are more things attached to it but you got to use a good mic test it and then take the official mark use your zoom meeting app zoom app i think everybody knows it just check in the youtube how to record using zoom you can record the entire mock you finish your speaking and the recording the rest of the modules you click next 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 now you have the recording right entire speaking performance of yours is recorded and you get the marks after 10 15 minutes if it is not 90 use the recording and check 100% you would have made mistakes in our course well this is a part of the course for those students who i think that they need official mark we make them take a mark but we give the feedback we and you know help them understand the mistakes a lot of people would say i did everything as you told but in the official mark score is 40 and when you see the recording full mistakes then we you know like tell those people the mistakes that they have done so this way you understand your mistakes on the day 3 if you understood enough of it day 4 you have to get 90 man 
If you're not getting it, you join our course. We will definitely fix it. So apart from what I discussed, there could be one more factor like if your voice is very husky, maybe I could have played that audio from next time onwards I'll play because we have a list of database of students who have different voices. One is husky voice, hoarse voice and the third is very thick voice. These three people also struggle which I did not cover in this video. You can check my other videos where I've told how to modulate your pitch. Download voice pitch analyzer application or voice tools. These two will help you a uh, preferable pitch for a male candidate is above 140, 140, 150 for a female candidate above 200. If it is not within this range, you need to thin your tone, work on it and fix it. Well, this is a rare scenario. Probably 10% of the students will struggle here. But apart from the 90% of the students will not have the pitch issues. It's the issues that I discussed in this video alone is the problem. Fine guys, with this I'll park it here. I really hope this was an informative video. Well, if you believe the same, like, share and subscribe and leave your valuable comments in the comment section. With this I'll park it here. This is Nakul and AKUL Nakul signing off from Skills with you. Soon we'll be back. Till then take care. Bye-bye. Thanks much.